let's get started then yeah um does anybody wants to volunteer who wants to be the first to present oh thank you mr jing i think i'll go first kennedy okay sure you got please oh should i share screen yeah sure okay wait a minute yeah Okay, does my screen uh, presentation look okay? Yep, yep, it's clear. Yep. Okay, I start. Yeah. Uh, so good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today I would like to briefly explain uh, a presentation about sorry, presentation about what project did I wanna propose in this uh, trial program. Wait. Uh, the project itself is about merchant and attraction owner potential partnership project. And it's basically could include in a campaign with in conversion uh, chapter campaign, which online canvassing supplier, I think, but it could be brought up to be new project as well. So, okay. Uh, to clarify things, I would like to tell you a few backgrounds about this project. So the first one is merchant and attraction are two of the many main sources of the guest experience. Of course, guests that stay in the Phuket Vista property is don't want to stay all day in their properties, right? Or villas or guest house. But they want to go out to experience new things uh, and do vacation. Or maybe just do something they like. Maybe walking in the beach or doing surfing, uh, going to clubs and bars maybe. Or even uh, experience the culinary, uh, Bali culinary. So yeah, the second background is based on Bukit Vista help others to help themselves and other core value. Company could spark inspi inspire delight to local businesses. So instead just uh, making benefits to ourselves as a company, we could contribute to the community and society of Bali, especially uh, to help uh, local businesses grow and implementing our core values to them to inspire and making them more innovative and uh, maybe progressive uh, during their business operational da daily basis. Okay, so the next one is, uh, in this project, I recognize few opportunities that could bring up uh, for the result. The first one is there's an opportunity that can make merchant and attraction potential partner that could bring leads to the company. Of course, merchant and attraction uh, vendor is uh, contacting with guests, tourists, and people every single day. Uh, they could, and the tourist itself is could potentially bring information about properties or maybe villas, guest house that Bukit Vista doesn't uh, taken yet, or and it could eventually be a canvassing method that. Uh, bring potential property that Vista could ac acquire. Okay, so the second one is Busquets, Busquets experiences that stay in Bukit Vista property. Um, guests that uh, stay in Bukit Vista property is, as I said before, not only stay in their villas or guest house, but they want to experience new things. So by doing partnership with merchant and attraction vendor, we could push their experiences, maybe by give them benefits, maybe some discount or maybe packaging that could really suit them uh, during the vacation. And then the third one is add revenue source for the company through partnership. There's a big opportunities and chance uh, for this project to add alternative and uh, new sources uh, for the company through partnership that uh, we had with merchant and attraction vendor. And then the last one is objective. In order to uh, project is successfully executed, we need to know the key objective, uh, what we uh, have to do. So it could be the guideline 
uh, for maybe some project that we wanted to. The first one is making partnership deal with vendor. Of course, this is the very important stages, uh, which uh, we're making deal with the vendor and doing partnership deal with them so we could have something in common together. And then the next step is collaborating with vendor partner and have mutual benefits. Um, after we're making partnership deal with them, uh, maybe we want to do some project uh, like uh, making maybe um, projects that could uh, benefits for the experience of the guest itself. And then the last one is give guests new experience. Um, the final step of this um, project is uh, giving the result of the collaboration process uh, and through the partnership uh, that we already do with the merchant and attraction owner vendors. So the guests could, uh, yeah, maybe inspire and get, uh, experience new things that they never done before or uh, do something that really suits them. Okay, I think that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much. Back to you, Kanadi. Okay, thank you, Yoga, for um, presenting your project plan, actually. Um, one question, um, Yoga. So, do you find any uh, similar project previously that we have in business development with your project? Um, as far as I know, I don't think so. A um, few of uh, the campaign that I already know is a uh, more of it is a supplier uh, campaign, which uh, you guys is making partnership with maybe cleaning vendor or pest cleaner vendor, something like that. I see. Okay, so the merchant, um, could you please let me know what kind of merchant that you um, in mind, that you think in mind, like um, you say the attractions, you mean um, restaurant or something? Uh, so the main merchant that I thinking is in my ideas is such as clubs, bars, uh, maybe restaurants or message parlor, something like that. I see. Okay. Mm, okay. What what problem actually you are trying to solve, Yuga? Um, actually, the main problem that I think I would like to solve is um, I think the guest. I don't know. I don't know the exact um, reviews or test testimonial about the guests that stayed in Bukit Vista, but I think they they always uh, do activities by themselves. Uh, I assume, and then that's a problem we can fix. So by doing this partnership, we could easily uh, arrange their schedule. So and giving you things to them. I think something like that. I see. Okay. Okay, thank you, Yoga, for um, your time on presenting your presentations. Let's move to the next one. Who wants to be the volunteer to be the second one? No one? Okay, let me choose then, yeah? Oh, Hasha, okay, please, Hasha. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, gonna turn it. Is it clear, Kak? Okay, uh, please. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, I just want to make sure, I just want to clarify, I don't know if I really make it right uh, regarding this uh, rough document. I just made it into the lot of points. So I just want to this, uh, I just want to uh, solve the problems regarding the online contesting by owner uh, direct approach so i just for today i just uh, discover a lot uh, about what's the problem itself so i just want to know the clear of the problem and what i found is uh, there are symptoms and there are problems uh, so symptom and problem uh, is two different things and I think symptoms is caused by the problem. So the problem is just uh, so the symptom is effect of the problem. So the, the symptom is 
uh, people in Bukit Vista uh, usually cannot reach the TPI of uh, the online canvassing. And what just iPhone is, there is too many things, but this is just option, not the exact thing. Maybe tomorrow I will uh, find out the really uh, problems. So first, problems is uh, hard to find properties that rise, that rise up to Bukit Vista standard. So uh, what, as far as I know, to my knowledge, uh, Bukit Vista standard is uh, one criteria that have to, that one one most criteria is must have pool. So uh, a lot of properties doesn't have pool. Maybe uh, some of the properties have pool, but they uh, manage by uh, well established management and etc. And second one is I think most of the properties, yeah, like I said before, managed by the the other property management companies, especially in potential cities like maybe uh, in Seminyak, in Canggu, and in uh, Ungasan, and etc. And then what I found is lack of human resource. So basically, uh, I just found out that. Uh, people who are doing the online canvassing and who are doing the approaching canvassing is uh, quite, it's not really much, yeah. it's not too much to, to doing this, but uh, I don't really know if it's uh, really uh, fit into this problem or not but what just i found is uh, there is lack of human resource to do approaching process and as well as uh, the confessing process and another one is uh, business development itself doesn't uh, have priority of mkl criteria so if people from uh, another chapter but in the same squad want to uh, doing MKL uh, want to generate lead, they does they don't know what is exactly uh, the MKL criteria that we have. So I think we we doesn't have clear guideline in this section, and then we don't we don't have much example of success and fail method. Maybe uh, maybe uh, there's there's a success and fail method there, yeah, but uh, there is not enough. I think uh, we need more regarding the success and fail method and yeah the last one is we don't have proper guideline regarding how the best way to do canvassing through each uh, online traveling agency uh, for instance we don't have guideline about booking.com but yesterday i just found out uh who is uh, maybe kak bella uh, she has the best way to approach uh, through the booking.com, but she doesn't. She just doesn't uh, document documenting it. And then another is, for instance, uh, there is no guideline regarding Airbnb. Uh, it fell in uh, case because uh, she doesn't know how to verify an Airbnb account and how to approach the host to get their number as well as how to choose potential property. So uh, I just made another uh, uh, alternative solution here. Yeah. A lot of uh, option of the solution. First is do market research through Airbnb and another website to see whether we have a market demand or not with a target of having a certain number of properties with pools. And second one is we move the canvassing area and focus in Bali or Bukit area because uh, what I know is uh, Bukit Vista want to expand the area, maybe in Bandung and etc. But I think because there is a lot of demand in Bali, so I think we have to focus thing in Bali first rather than uh, expand, uh, rather than doing expansion uh, in another area. And another one is we have to add quantity of approachers and canvassers. Like I said before, we uh, lack of human resource. And another one is 
uh, create another example of success and fail method. Uh, like I said before, uh, Kak Bella, that she just doing the best way to approach through the booking the com, but we we don't know how to approach with the with uh, her way because she just doesn't document things. And the last one is we have to uh, we should have proper guideline regard, regarding how's the best way to do canvassing through each uh, online traveling agency like booking.com, Airbnb, and etc. Maybe uh, that's all from me. Thank you, Kak Nadine. Uh, thank you, Kak Nadine. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Um, thank you, Hasha. Um, so, yeah. Based on these problems that you actually found, which one that you do you want uh, to focus on, Hasha? I think uh, it's more fundamental in uh, guideline, yeah, Kak maybe uh, in MKL criteria guideline about uh, how how, uh, how uh, the exact criteria of MKL and uh, and guideline regarding how the best way to do canvassing through each online wrestling agency okay think, hmm. let me see um okay what what are the things that you are trying to achieve actually I think I just want to uh, make efficiency uh, regarding how to reach the TPI card. Maybe not reach the full target of TPI, but mendekati. Uh, I, I think like that. Increase. Yes, increase. Increase the efficiency of reaching the TPI. I see. Okay. Um... Yes, Mr. Jing, please. Hasha, could you please do this for me? I want to see the current MQL criteria, the way that you've read it in the guidelines. I also want to see the canvassing documents. Okay, so please find that on Coda and just share it in the chat. Okay. Okay. Uh, may you give me a time, Mr. Jing? Just uh, it's okay. It's time. okay. You can do that while Nadine goes to the next presentation. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Sure. Jing. Okay, thank you, Hasha. Um, let's go to the next person. Who wants to be the next person? I think I can be the next person. Sure, Helen, please. Let's wait a moment. I can't find the window. Okay, now I find it. Okay. Um, is my screen okay? Yes. Okay. So the presentation um that I wanna bring today is partner up to bring more delight to potential guests. So um. First of all, um, to make it easier to me to identify what can be improved, uh, first I want to uh, break down the potential area for improvement that can be done specifically by BD. So um, I choose uh, the category of who we want to bring delight to. Uh, I mean, uh, the, from the three category that we want to bring delight to, which one is uh, able to be improved that needs to be improved it can be from guests partners and employees um, so by this point um, i can look uh, for the data to find um, which one is needing attention the most and um, because i don't have enough data i prefer uh, to i refer to all hands meeting that is um, held yesterday and from that um from that presentation um we know that uh there are already um identified identified fiction from last month uh the one that is bring my attention is confession from awareness to engagement that is dropping and then um the one that uh bd can specifically um address to 
is a more active approach as opposed to taking passive action. So, um, and then I also look for uh, Mr. Jing's presentation of which market is we address the most and it is from uh, domestic travels and international travels. So by this point, I decide to dig deeper to the guest part because um, I think that part is uh, what we can improve right now. So the question I ask is how can we transform the people that are already aware of our products, like aware that Bukit Vista is, um, is exists and or maybe they know that they want to travel but they don't bother to do action to actually travel and then um, transform they are who already aware to become um, engaged with us to actually taking action something like that and my answer to that question is make it easier for them so uh, i propose a partner partnership with fellow company that is also encouraged travels so it can be uh, for example travel company or a flight company so um, the partnership um, partnership frame can be Bukit Vista x flight company A and Bukit Vista x travel agencies B like that and then the objective of this partnership is to build a product that is coming from two or even if possible three companies that is working together and provide um, and together provide services to make uh, that product for example like um, the tourism package uh, that we can sell it's already consists of flight ticket and also villa tickets or um, we can do like tourism package that is consisting of villa ticket and traveling ticket at the same time so the hypothetical hypothetical result that we aim to achieve is increased selling to guests by our new products, uh, our new partnership products, and then level up engagement as well as awareness to reach more people and then get more positive feedback from guests. So basically bring delight to guests. And then the activity that um, that can be constructed by that uh, concept is write a partnership proposal and then gather contacts of flight companies and travel agencies and then contact the potential partner, uh, execute meetings and partnership contract signing. So uh, the key result that can be constructed by that activity is uh, making two partner type of partnership proposal, one that for flight companies and one for a uh, travel agency and then um, getting five contacts of flight companies and getting 10 contacts of travel agencies, um, 10 reply texts or emails with uh, flight agencies and travel companies, setting up seven meetings and two contract signing. So that's all for my presentation of project plan. Thank you and have a delightful day. Okay, thank you, Helen. Uh, Mr. Jing, I saw you raise your hand, please. Let me go and do this for a moment, actually. Let me go to Hasya. Yeah? What's the biggest difference that you saw between your presentation and the presentation from Helen? Mm. I'm not sure, uh, Mr. Jing. Maybe uh, I just made it into the point. Okay. Let's go to Yoga. Yoga, what, what's the biggest difference you see between your presentation and Helen's presentation? I think Helen's presentation is she breaks down more um, points and explaining things more clearly than okay. I did. Okay. Um, that's good. Are you able to learn from that, Yoga? Yep, of course. Okay, so. good, 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 good. Um, this is the point that I'd like to make actually this goes for Nadine as well I think a good team will be able to learn from each other right so when we see that oh okay this this is something that works uh, we uh, we we become that person who is helping themselves right so in this particular case that's that's a pretty strong understanding on 
Helen's part that I saw. Okay, no, that's it. That's that's what I just wanted to check. Uh, back to you, Nadine. Okay, thank you, Mr. Jing. Mm -hmm. um, yes, Helen, um, thank you for presenting your presentations. I think we can go to the last person, which is just this present your task. Okay, sure. Uh, please give me a moment. Okay, can you see my screen? Yep, yep, is yep, my, yep. My screen is visible? Okay, sure. So, um, yeah, um, I didn't, I apologize because I didn't really create the presentation sooner. It's very rushed, but um, I'm trying to solve this issue, property uh, developer partnership for the B2B for conversion. So um, first of all, I wanted to pick this because I'm actually quite interested in learning B2B. And I figured that this is a good opportunity for me to learn while I'm doing a task. And so um, looking here uh, from the Trello, it says that uh, we are there's already some inquiries about partnerships. And it's uh, what I wrote here is our team uh, works uh, sorry, wait, going back. Uh, this is wrong, actually. But yeah, property develop inquiries. This is one of the good opportunities. Um, through B2B, definitely, uh, there's a lot of things that a, a company can grow. It's more towards long-term growth. So that's why I tried to um, pick this specific topic. So the potential opportunity for Bukit Vista itself um, First of all, is to generate more leads from the property developers. You know, as we know, um, one of the main assets that Bukit Vista needs is property. Uh, uh, is our properties and property developers are a good resource or supplier of those uh, of those assets. And um, property developers will have to exclusively promote Bukit Vista services. So this is really good um, because I heard from. I had from someone yesterday, I forgot, but um, so during like high demand season, usually the holidays, even uh, I've heard that Bukit Vista itself was not able to supply the demand because the demand was so great. But if we are able to um, partner up with these property developers, then we'll have more access and supply to these properties. Um, so we can meet the demand and we won't uh, miss the opportunity to generate more revenue. Secondly, is to um, improve the brand credibility and reputation. I'm sorry, this is uh, wrong. Um, yeah, because through partnerships, I think people get to be more exposed to Book Bukit Vista more. If uh, if they see that Bukit Vista has more partners, definitely um, it will increase and improve the brand's uh, credibility and reputation. So these are a few of the identified problems so far. Um, one thing that I learned of was we don't really know what they need. Um, we basically, they were inquiring for partnerships, but the property developers didn't really state um, how we could help them or what they really needed from us. Instead, um, mm -hmm. I think what they what we tried to do was, well, definitely on their side, what Bukit Vista needs is properties. And what we offer them is to increase the ROI of the property for the investors. So that's definitely interesting. And I think that investors would really highly consider that not only um, waiting for the property's price to increase, but also to generate revenue while it's not being used. So I think that's super interesting. The second problem is we don't really have a unique value proposition yet. I saw from the B2B partnership model that it's basically identical to the uh, normal um, normal model for properties. So there's not really anything unique yet that we have figured out. And next, we need to be able to communicate the solution. Once we've known this, we should find a way in order to communicate what exactly we can help them and why it's beneficial for um, the property developers. And next, we need to establish boundaries because uh, yesterday, 
it seems that if we're going into this partnership, um, the property developers, since usually property developers, they usually promote and market their own properties. Um, one of the one of the agents, I think, stated that they or they still wanted to take control of the marketing. And as we know in Bukit Vista, we we um, we try to take control of everything so that we can um, uh, do our best to help the property. So we need to establish those boundaries and make it clear. So my objective for this is well, uh, we need. I'm trying to figure out how we can formulate this B2B partnership agreement that gives mutual benefits for both the for both Bukit Vista and the property developers. Um, yeah, but I've definitely already identified how a, a, a few things uh, where uh, Bukit Vista and investors and as well as the the property developers, they all benefit from each other uh, from this deal. Usually, basically, uh, they we all benefit from generating more revenue by getting more properties and increasing investments for the property developers. But the challenge for us here is to include more benefits and figure out a way to help even more than just to um, manage the specific property. So we need to figure out how we can make things unique and um, do more to help the property developers. That That's it for my short presentation. Thank you. OK, thank you, Josh, for presenting your uh, project plan, actually. So yeah, um, that's a good uh, problem identification, actually, Josh. But uh, I haven't seen much uh, clear solutions for the arrangement later yeah joshua i think so what kind of um innovations that you would like to put in this project it's not really clear actually joshua but yeah since um the instruction is actually for the third day is the progress of your task so um we hope that on the sixth day the last day of the presentations uh, uh you guys will be uh present the more clearer um what is that plan actually what what do you want to innovate what do you want to actually create uh what's something new that you would like to create uh within this project and what problem and what um clear um objectives and results that you are intended uh to achieve actually oh where where's helen <laughs> helen is yeah. gone okay so uh let's go to mr jing uh, mr jing do you uh, do you have something to comment yep to this, okay. this is the sequence of leadership everyone okay so this is essentially what i'm looking at right now to see if you guys are doing things correctly first step is you got to discover the problem second you need to prioritize if this problem is worthwhile to solve then you actually solve the problem Finally, you can execute, okay? So what we're discovering today is each candidate's ability to discover and prioritize. And, and like as Nadine added in terms of Josh's uh, presentation, do you actually have a plan to problem solve this? Now, let's, let's try to see where we are. I'm going to use a... Now, once again, um, I want you guys to feel relaxed uh, because this is about how we can learn together as a group, okay? Um, the best teams are teams that support each other. So let's let's start it with this. Hasya, who do you believe had the strongest presentation today, Hasya? I think it's Helen because uh, she just has a lot of uh, structure in her case in terms of uh, maybe from the start, from end to end process. Okay. Had, the... Okay. Who had the second best presentation? You think, Kasia? Mm, I think it's yoga because yoga has more clear in uh, problem he want to solve, Mister Jin. Okay. And then who had the third uh, presentation, Kasia? Honestly, I think it's it's Josh, Mister Jin, because uh, yeah. Has a need 
structure and uh, need. Uh, okay, and then who had the least effective presentation? I think it's me. Okay. Let's talk about just basics, Hasya. Where is that document that I just asked you for? Oh, uh, regarding the MKL criteria. Right. Okay. We still don't see that. All right. Let me go to Yoga. Yoga. What do you? What's your opinion? Who do you think had the strongest presentation? Who had the next? Who has the next? And uh, please judge yourself openly. If you want to give yourself the first rank, that's fine too, because I'm. I'm trying to understand what you understand too, right? I'm trying to understand if you can see what good quality work looks like, okay? So um, try to step outside of your own personal context and be as objective as possible. Okay, thank you, Mr. Jing. I think the first place is goes to Helen, of course. Um, as, as, as I mentioned before, and you said it, um, she breaks down um, objectives uh, and key results more clearly. And she following your uh, step that you said earlier about this discover problems, prioritizing it, uh, problem solve and execution. I think she uh, had those variables uh, that make her uh, in the top uh, one. Uh, okay, who is the second? Okay, second one I think is Josh. Okay, all right, why? Uh, because even though uh, this presentation is doing rashly uh, in the PPT, but she, uh, sorry, but he got a um, few points and same as Helen, few points and few result objective and uh, what is it? Um, solutions um, is that put he offer, but the flaws that he had is about the problem itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Um, who's next? Um, I think me. Is okay. Mm -hmm. Then uh, why? Because, uh, because I think I'm more prepared. Uh, I, I'm, I'm using uh, PowerPoint presentation, uh, even though I'm not as good as Helen. Uh, and sorry, Hasha. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I think you're in the last place because you just pointed out a few things in the document and not um, actually visualize it with PowerPoint, I think. That's Mr. Jing. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, tell me a little bit more about why you why you gave yourself third place. What do you think you did strongly and what could you improve, uh, Yoga? Um, that's in terms of why I put myself in third because uh, mainly about the readiness that I said before, but I think I have few maybe interesting ideas. Of course, everyone had interesting ideas, but um, I think myself uh, got few uniqueness that I could explain and tell to you guys. So I think that's my power. Okay. Let's go to Josh. Thank you, Yoga. Let's go to Josh. Josh, your thoughts. Who is first and who is after and after and after after? Yeah. Oh, once again, Josh, same thing that I said to Yoga. Try not to think of your presentation as anything too personal. Just try to be as objective as you can about it. Okay. All right, Sergey. Okay, so for the placing of the presentation, we would definitely all agree that Helen is first. Um, I was quite impressed actually with the amount of time and I didn't, uh, I wasn't expecting her to make such a good presentation. It was really structured. Uh, she identified the problem. She had a lot of details, a lot of details, and she even included most of the things that were expected from the guidelines, such as KPIs. And she even provided solutions, which, um, to be transparent, I haven't even thought of. Okay. Um, for second, I would pick yoga. I think yoga has is also well prepared. His slides look pretty good. Um, he also included a lot of details. And I think he was pretty OK. He's pretty good to identify the problem as well as the solution. For third, I would say Hasya, even though 
it's just Google Docs, but um, I can see the amount of details and preparation um, that he's done. Although maybe he's similar with me, we don't really know where we're headed yet, but I can definitely see that he probably has uh, much more effort than me. And I think maybe some people, maybe me and Hasia, it takes time. Maybe we want to take more time to really understand the situation more and research that. And that's why we fall short in those. And for the fourth place is me, the last place. Um, that presentation was an absolute mess. I created that presentation while my friends were presenting. I thought we were just doing updates today. But um, yeah, so my presentation was very super lackluster. Um, but I think I was able to identify some problems. And I really want to go through with this uh, topic because I feel like there's a, there's a lot of opportunity in B2B. So that's what I think. Wait. You made this presentation during this presentation. Yes, and I'm uh, I'm thankful to my friends for backing me up just now. They probably knew I, I didn't make anything, so they volunteered to go first. So thank you, guys. Interesting. Okay. All right. Helen. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Josh. Uh, yes. Helen, we're doing this right now, okay? Uh, I want you, Helen, to rank the presentations from the strongest to the weakest, and please be as objective as possible, right? Which means that uh, if you thought you had the strongest presentation, then speak about it, right? If you thought you had the worst presentation, speak about it. It, it, it. Just try to disassociate yourself from your own presentation. Think about if you were grading this yourself, okay? Helen, who had the strongest presentation? Okay. Um... Oh, sorry to say, I, I think I um, like identify the problem pretty long enough. Maybe okay. like, um, spend more time on it. So yeah, I, I might rank myself. Okay. All right. Place. Who's second? Who's after you? Um, I forget who's mentioned about like um like restaurant and like um destination around the villas. I That's guess yoga. it's yoga. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, it's yoga then. Because mm. I think um, she he has the idea. Yeah, okay. He has a good idea. And then I might go to um, Josh because um, he addressed the problem even though like um, the idea is not detailed enough. Okay. And then yeah, because I... I not I'm I'm actually not coding any like any point that is come to mind. Okay, and then who's last? I guess that's all. That's it. Okay, why is Hasia last? Because um, actually he he identify like um the problem a little bit and then um propose the uh idea but then um i think it lack of specificity specificity uh, specificitas okay. yes okay interesting good um okay good 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 let's let's go back to see if you guys remember what we're doing here during trials right and i'm gonna ask yoga this uh yoga why do you think i'm opening this discussion by asking each of you what you think of the how to rank each presentation. Let's go to yoga first. Um, I think why you asking us about those ranking things is basically you want to know um, how ob objective that we are um, as uh, to other people or to mm -hmm. ourselves and, and how uh, we, I think, implement few core values in ourselves like um, maybe help others to help themselves, I think. So okay. I think that's, interesting. that's All right. my opinion. Okay, interesting. Let's go to Nadine. Nadine, why do you think, um, I'm asking questions this way, why do you think we're formatting this discussion this way? So um, yes, to actually see some of the attributes and also um, um, 
like our mission as well we want to transform um the employees right so right um i also agree with yoga help them to help themselves in order to transform um each other actually okay good good all right remember um I, i spoke about this at the very beginning of your trials we're here during your trials to understand your attributes not your knowledge not your skill but your attributes what are you going to do when you don't know what to do so this is really exploring the attribute of self-learning and bias to action and the ability to implement core values during let's say a discussion so let's go to nadine actually nadine how would you rank the presentations okay <laughs> So I would rank Joss at the first, yep. okay. and then Helen for the second, yep. Yoga for the third, and yep. Tasha for the last. Okay. All right. Uh, tell us, Nadine, why would you do that? Okay. Um, Helen, I'm not saying that Helen um, presentation is bad, no. Um, Helen comes with a very, very good preparations and she really represent of um, a very good observer uh, in our uh, company. Mm -hmm. But Joss is actually uh, think um, uh, really calm. I think the, 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 the problem solving that Helen just brought up is too rush for now, I think, because you wasn't really sure whether it's a best solution to overcome that problem That's or not. Mm -hmm. That's one. So um, Joss is more in a apa ya, um, calm, she really uh, prioritize the discovery and also think what is the problem and spend more time to in the discovery first. And I think that's the, the best way to do uh, when you're actually given a task to find out the problem and comes up with the project. So don't be too rushed on the uh, thinking about the problem. So I think spend your bandwidth and effort more to the discovery actually to observe more and comes to yoga um yoga i think um not really doesn't really have a clear um understanding about what's the problem actually and also uh, the, the understanding of the problem will uh apa namanya will affect the problems and the solution that you offer as well right that's yoga but you um but i see you're actually a bias to action person person and you you comes with a good preparation as well um hasha is the last one because yeah i think the the major factors that i just mentioned you still lack of it uh hasha okay so yeah that's my opinion sir excellent okay Listen, everybody, what I was able to understand from having the dialogue that we just had was a few things. I understand how your attributes are, but I also understand what your leadership potential is too at the same point. Nadine is correct, I believe, right? Josh, you have the most correct vision, okay? Um, it's actually even more astonishing to me that you came up with that very last minute. It means that you have very strong understanding and quite a lot of capacity that you're able to uh, on the spot come up with a, a vision like that. Your downside is you don't know it, right? And you gave yourself the worst ranking, which means that it will become hard for you to lead um, a group of people into a particular vision. This is why we're asking about being objective, right? I can tell that you're probably a very kind person. You're a very polite person. <laughs> And you're willing to, let's say, put other people ahead. But when, when it comes to leadership, you need to know when you're right. And you need to follow your vision. And sometimes that means uh, helping people positively transform. Um, and, and being polite is good, but, but in leadership, sometimes that can work against you. So, Josh, you have the correct vision. Um, partner to partner uh, deals are the way that we can actually transform this company. It is a... Pretty astonishing innovation if you can come up with something during your internship. You are also correct. It is very difficult to do it correctly, and you've identified what the chief problem is there. Um, so in this particular thing, I think your discovery skills are very strong. Helen, um, Nadine is correct. You discovered really well, and I like how you were using evidence and what you had seen around the company, especially I'm glad somebody's paying attention to all hands, right? So that part is really good. 
So you use good evidence and uh, that is using data, not assuming, which is another core value fit. And you were able to specifically uh, zoom in on the issue. However, your solution is maybe a little bit dated. Okay, what you're suggesting is that people should go back to using package travel. Package travel, from what I can see, has only been less and less popular with the advent of things like online travel agencies and things. People generally like to buy the best ticket and the best accommodations and the best experiences separately from each other. They don't like to get bundled together and have a you know a plane ticket and a hotel and whatever and get second quality each. So your idea of your solution, I don't think is the best direction to go because if you study recent travel trends, you can even just ask yourself, right? How many young people, which is the growing segment of the Indonesian market per se, right? are going to use package plans. So you do have a similar approach to yoga, which is this idea of partnerships, which is a strong idea. But then the the end solution, I think, like Nadine said, needed to have a little bit more clarity and perhaps researching just where the general market is going. Okay. Yoga. Um, same as Nadine, you have a uh, understanding is not strong enough. So you want to partner with different, let's say, um, groups right and you don't want to do the way that we've currently been partnering but let's just say this what incentive does let's say a activity partner or a nightclub really have to promote to work in our ecosystem can they actually would they actually put up a property management or go stay at a Buga vista villa uh in their club uh, but we have to ask ourselves these questions are they really part of our ecosystem um an architect right? A property developer. These are people within your ecosystem that might encounter a property partner or let's say a airline might encounter a guest before you do. So therefore it makes sense to actually work along with them yoga in that sense, because they have downstream, they, they're sharing your customers, right? Now, while a traveler from your perspective might move from villa to nightclub to, to restaurant in one day, the actual journey is a little bit different from, from let's say a business to a business, right? If you think of most travelers, they probably are going to do what? They're going to book a flight first, followed by an accommodation, and eventually after they get their accommodations, they probably will start thinking about experiences. If you partner with experiences, they're downstream from us, so they benefit from us sharing our guests to them. Can they share their people with us? That's a little bit harder and to understand. Somebody who is, let's say, already booked a, a you know, a rafting tour, or they're going to go to a nightclub, they probably already have their accommodations already settled. So it's unlikely that we can actually find derivative business from that. So that I think is, is an issue of understanding the business a little bit better yoga. Okay. Um, so that's my feedback. And Hasya, um, I just don't know whether or not you're giving opinions or actual facts. That's why I asked you to share the, the MQLs with me so I could take a look at them. Right. Um, I'm taking a look at them right now. There's a lot of information on on how to canvas and, and where to canvas. And, and it seems like pretty thorough in terms of guidance, right? Um, the MQLs have been working also here for years. That's not to say that you haven't discovered something wrong with them. I, I'm always open to the idea that something we've been doing historically could be revolutionized. But I don't see your point, right? You haven't communicated what exactly about the MQLs makes it confusing? What exactly about the canvassing is wrong? In fact, most of, I think what you're saying is all based on assumption. You're assuming that Bali is going to be better than Bando. Uh, where's your proof, right? What specific parts of Bali are better than Bando? Um, where's, your, where's your theory? Where's your evidence? So that part is based a lot on conjecture. And your solutions are... Once again, not very good if your discovery of where the underlying problem isn't there. So, okay, um, it looks like this, Helen. Helen, uh, since you ranked yourself at the top and we're not shy about it, I guess maybe you have the strongest leadership capabilities. Josh, I think you have a strong vision. So maybe you need to work with Helen to actually, um, you know, put strategy into Helen's thought process, right? And Josh, this is also, I think, a good opportunity for yourself to be more confident in your own ideas and not, um, yes, humility is a very strong aspect of any good leader. Uh, but I think you also need to know when to stand up for a good idea and not let, not let, um, uh, 
let not let other ideas that are let's say not as good rise above your own that is really really important as a leader you want the best ideas to come to the top whether or not you came up with them or not right and that's what somebody said about being objective okay um yoga work on understanding i think really understand why we have chosen the certain programs that we have and ask yourself and and ask us right um is my idea actually solving a problem or is my idea actually just doing something that has already been tried before uh nadine did you get any questions from yoga before he presented this idea or is this the first time you've heard of it mm, this is the first time okay all right yoga remember what i told everybody right if you're not sure then um definitely double check okay uh, same with hasya too uh understanding is the key issue there and uh we need to make sure that we understand things correctly so you can you can do that you can probably hasya and yoga rely on your teammates also as well i'm just going to give you guys a heads up so you don't you don't have the wrong expectations ideally ideally we can hire all of you for the for the program okay because what we're hiring is a team not necessarily individuals okay but this is why during the interview i'm asking questions as if you guys are a team so as a team you guys should share a common set of values right like you should know who is doing really good who is not doing good and then how to interplay between each of your strengths you each have strengths there um it's to discover those strengths together and work with them together okay uh obviously everybody on a team needs to uh be qualified right otherwise team won't work really well but you're not competing against each other um you're competing against yourself okay you're competing against yourself we're tracking how much positive transformation is happening across your trials okay so we're doing checkpoints and seeing are you actually getting things better are you uh after each feedback session so if you can show that you actually do positively transform and you actually do innovate then you're probably going to get accepted on this team okay that's it that's my two cents let me pass it back over to nadine Okay, great. Um, thank you so much, sir, for the enlightenment and giving the feedbacks to the um, candidates, actually. And thank you so much for everyone for presenting your um, presentations. And please uh, take the feedback as a gift, yeah? So you can actually improve yourself in the remaining days of the trial programs. And we'll see, we're really looking forward for the more improvement in the sixth day. Okay. Uh...